Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support, um, being able to see all the things that we truly uh, need to accept, let go of, and move on so we can be able to have the bigger blessings in our life that we truly deserve is truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting tell me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video is giving you good vibes or even good information that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that has you know truly going through some dark times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose uh please go ahead and share and um give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it is truly greatly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today my video is about uh, uh, sorry music that i'm listening to let me turn it down because it's a little bit loud um it's called prayer music talk to god and align with source uh ask and you shall receive and the it's 639 hertz filled with love and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 um hey Oka's, when you come clean and um being honest about a painful situation that could be holding you back oh y'all i've been like crying on and off today so if you see my like my nose is red and stuff like that um i've been like, facing a lot of stuff today like i was watching another youtube video that was on my queue from last night um that i had from this morning i woke up watching it and it was uh about one of the youtubers they were talking about this like a reaction video or something uh about uh this girl named donna wilson that her and her ex you know they've been having this thing going on for like six months up to a year but you know she's living her best life and stuff like that and i guess it was a court situation and you know when people were trying to find out about it she said look you know things have been dropped or whatever but you know people make mistakes you know it's just like me or me, you know um is she was just like people have situations and people have setbacks you know the only thing is between her and a lot of other people is the hours is you know um public and you know no matter it was like they had a really bad breakup you know and it was like on all over uh social media sites like all over the place just steady talk about what you got really old and stale you know and i'm just like i wish they would just leave those you know those people alone they you know they're separate doing their own thing or whatever but damo towards the end of their relationship it was like really dark really dark you know and she took it really bad so it was like basically she was going through this and i mean she she is did a glow up like crazy and i was so happy for her and you know and she was just basically saying you know everything you know people kept talking about karma and she even said the same thing that everything is getting hit blow the belt for Chrissy and stuff like that which I hope everything turns out right but it was like I, I mean that really took me I was like so happy for her because she said even when she had the chance to badmouth her or just you know laugh at her situation because it's like basically things you know turning tables on her she didn't do that she was still being about her business and you know saying you know look this is stale I don't want to talk about this no more Can we just move on and she bear she don't even talk about them at all anyway but it's like you have to be honest with yourself you know if you truly want blessings and that's what the girl uh diamond was talking about if you truly want blessings you have to be able to let go of everything you know when you got those blessings you don't have time to be angry about things that has happened to you in your life you have to be able to let go and heal and that's you know made me think about my situation and right after that uh, another video came up talking about uh, children that went through trial abuse. How does it reflect on them as an adult? And I'm gonna go ahead and leave that link below to see if you know you can associate with that. And that really 
like hit me hard it was like that one and that one because matter of fact i was looking at a certain number i can't remember what the number was and they say you have to be honest with yourself as well as your partner and all these different things and i was just like i'm trying to figure out what i was not being honest about and you know i've seen that number before not truly understanding what it is because i thought i was you know being honest about stuff but it was just like when things started you know talking about during the um in that video not diamonds video but the one about the abuse and everything it really you know touched me and all of a sudden i just started coming out with tears and didn't understand that basically i haven't been honest with y'all you know i've been telling y'all i've been emotional on and off for the last few weeks and you know a lot of times lately i've been you know, my video's been decreasing or I'll make them every other day or, you know, make, make it take two days off. And I really didn't, wasn't basically aware. The fact is, when I was going through my shift, I was also uh, relapsing from depression. You know, it was just like, even though I have made amends and made peace about the separation between my me and my dad, but actually where it really rooted from the problem is not being able to be accepted in a family. And it was just like all these things that we're talking about, like you always uh, had abuse where, you know, you always witness violence and, you know, it was like physical, you're not good enough. You know, you have obesity, you have low income, uh, you probably have low education and all these things that were fitting me, you know, back to back trying to get validation when I was younger because I never, you know, felt like I fit it in, fit anywhere. And I never felt like, you know, I belong to anybody. You know, even though I felt love, you know, at a very young age, it was like, when I was like seven or eight, that's when it really started. You know, seeing my parents filled up with alcohol and just constantly fighting, breaking up stuff. And, you know, and I used to beg my family to stop. You know, and that's all I used to see. My mom would constantly argue with my dad over, you know, my biological father. And it was just like, I used to ask them in my adopted, and they said, do we make you not feel loved? And it's not like, and it's not, so it's not the fact is that I just don't really feel like y'all are my, you know, my born parents. You know, I just have dreams about somebody else and you are not it, you know? So it's just like basically growing up and not really feeling that way. And it was just like, the more, the older I got, you know, I, you know, I just rebelled against my mom. I always ran away from home, doing things I shouldn't have been doing, being fast, you know, uh, you know, living the adult life at a, at a young teenage with years, which was very dangerous, you know, being around people I shouldn't have been with, you know, finding love all in the wrong places and, you know, trying to look for a connection and couldn't actually get it. And there was many a days I sat in the corner and just cried and asked, you know, uh, why am I not loved? Why do I not feel loved? Why am I not feeling good enough? And it was like always uh, a situation with my, especially my adoptive father. You know, I was always, you know, he used to spoil me when I was little. But it was like the more and more I grew up, you know, I was emulating my dad, my biological dad. It was like the more he pushed himself away from me. You know, he would always plan stuff with me, like right around when I was in school, you know, it was like fourth or fifth grade, and he promised me that he was coming to take me out of town because it's like he was TDY, I think that's what it was when you were in the military, for like over a weekend or something like that. And he purposely had the, you know, the secretary call over the intercom and say, you know, hey, your dad had to leave, you know, uh, maybe next time. And I had to sit in class and basically, you know, cry, my teacher would pull me out of the classroom and ask me, you know, if you want to go sit in the hallway for a minute, you can, or you, if you want to go to the library, you can. And I would be sitting up there crying, you know, why do you keep doing this to me? Why you would make promises and you would never show up? And it was just like a lot of things. I see you really make me feel like I'm not I don't belong to you. You know, even when I did find out I was adopted, I said, you make me feel like I'm adopted. You know, I said, why don't you just take me back to foster care? You know, you don't care about me. You know, um, anytime I, my stepmom 
was like he was basically caring to her every need and when I needed something I had to beg for it you know and then when I said something to her and I was mad like you know my dad does everything for you and he doesn't care about me if she tells him to go knock me out that's what he would do he would try his damnness to knock me out like punch me in the face at 14 15 years old slamming against the wall like I was a dude and I had to basically push him off of me you know all these different things that was coming up while I was watching this video and I said this is where all this rooted out from where I always you know even though when I see my dad in my dreams I will always wonder why anytime I see him with different women I would get so angry you know so angry and would cry my mom's like what's wrong and it was just like it, you see something with Prince or something on the video or whatever because she said I was doing something with Prince and uh seeing I was watching something with my dad on it and I was just like he's with that woman he's with her you know and I cried and I didn't know why you know it's just like I, I told my mom nobody wants me you know you know it, it's just like he doesn't want me and she doesn't want me uh, you know and she was like I don't understand what do you mean he doesn't want you you know they I, she's like did somebody tell you something I was like he just didn't want me I didn't know know why I was you know dealing with this stuff but it was like this video really triggered me and it's like damn you know if I'm gonna sit up here and keep it real with my you know uh, my YouTube family you know I got to be real with myself as well as y'all you know I constantly tell you you know if you face your fears you know walk in your truth and it was just like me I felt like I was lying to somebody because I didn't realize I was still hurt from all this from when I was little and it's still conjuring up because I'm wondering why these memories keep coming up because this is always something I had to deal with my whole life for me always being picked last you know it was never when I was in a relationship there was always somebody always cheating on me with another woman or you know just different things like that and I always felt like why did this always happen to me or why do I keep picking these people because it's just the fact is I dealt with that growing up and you know and it just felt like I always had to have that connection with somebody um, being able to feel loved and it was just like you know they said uh, during the video um, that you you're, you have anti-social anxiety or something like that and it's just like yeah I do it's just I'd rather feel comfortable with staying in my house you know I'll chill with my children <laughs> and that's it is pretty much anybody I you know I connect with or I contact or I stay in contact is usually with y'all you know I don't really talk to anybody else and I was okay with that but I just never understood why my anti-social was like you know I was very anti didn't really understand it's just because I wasn't trying to hold up any relationships with anybody you know if I start seeing any kind of patterns where it feels like you're blocking me or you're lying to me or something like that I'll automatically block people out of my life without any ex explanations just walk on without my business going about my business so it's just like you know I don't want y'all to ever feel like I'm trying to lie to y'all about covering up you know every day is not going to be a good day you know I was sitting up here crying before the video and I just didn't understand why I was crying because I've been very emotional on and off lately and it's just like I'm really ready to heal you know so it's just like when the angels are asking me to be upfront and honest especially with the people you're close to and it's just like am I lying to anybody and I was just like really trying to see what I was lying about but you know I talked to my you know my dad telepathically and he was like I'm glad you can be honest with me about that and you know I'm sorry that I ever made you feel like that I didn't know I had even made you feel like that you know um it was just a lot of different things that had came up and you know and I was didn't really know that I was still wounded for those instances that happened as a child growing up you know and I just really had to really face that and you know hopefully y'all won't hold it against me because I really didn't didn't realize I was still suffering from that you know and it makes me feel good that I can openly tell y'all about that because we all have incidences where you know we've been abused one way or another I mean you are very you consider very blessed if you grew up in a, a very good upbringing where you didn't have to see abuse around you and stuff like that so it was just like with abuse for my my mom from going through depression from her husband of 20 plus years you know leave her you know only because she wanted me to reunite with my dad at least you know to have that extra love you know she's seen 
how much um, our connection was very special and she she really wanted him to see his daughter as you know I wanted to see him but it was like he 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 threw a monkey in that wrench he threw a monkey wrench in that program and didn't allow that to happen and it was just like anything that I've ever did to make it look like I you know was mimicking my dad you know I could be playing the piano and I would get you know he would ball his fist up at me and especially if it was certain songs that my dad has made and I try to you know do it on the piano you know the 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 doors off the piano will get slammed while my fingers were on the keys and thank god I was you know had quick reflexes to snatch my fingers back because he probably would have broke my fingers you know to that point and I got to that point where I was scared to even um play the piano ever again since then my mom was just like why did you give up on that you never know you could have been on the stage with Prince and this and this and that and she just I never told her because it was just like uh, her husband would tell me, you know, she wouldn't believe you if you told her anyway, if, you know, if you told her what I've been doing to you. And, you know, he would do that. It was like his anger would speak when he was drunk, you know, and it was just a lot of things I didn't know I was still suppressing. It all came up yesterday, well, between yesterday and this morning. And I was just like, wow, you know, that really, you know, hit me in the gut. And it, it was just like, I, I wouldn't get out of bed you know, um, not smoking anymore. There'll be times where I just, you know, I said, I'm do some videos and work out. And it was just like, I'll be so warped from the videos. I didn't have that, you know, that uplifting energy to get up and do anything else. And it was just because of everything I'm still going through, you know, tired of being, you know, in my situation, wanting things to, to come to close, you know, getting answers about what happened to my dad. You know, all these different things has been weighing down on me, you know, and I'm just keeping it real with y'all. You know, I, I just, I don't have time to sugarcoat anything. I mean, I feel better when I'm upfront and honest. You know, everybody has their milestones that they're fighting hard to get through. You know how if you've been working very hard on um, a situation and you're just becoming emotionally and mentally and as well as spiritually draining you're just ready to get it over with but there are certain things you have to face and a lot of things you have to let go of for you to be able to move to that next chapter as soon as i said that my phone uh uh called but i'm gonna talk to y'all in my next video my daughter's calling so peace be wild